Hello LEGO fans, this is Sub for Dis Destroyers, back again with yet another LEGO Star Wars set review. And again with one of the new LEGO Star Wars Summer Sets for 2012. This one is Saeesi Tin's Jedi Starfighter. Pretty cool set overall, it is ages 7 to 12, set number 9498. Basically, there's a look at the minifigures, I'll go into them more in a moment. Um, a look at the back of the box, you get some of the features on the back. Um, pretty cool overall. Of course, like it says, the Malevolence 9515 isn't actually included in the set. Um, so it should be that for the packaging. Still just part of the way. And you know, for a mid-sized set, it was actually... £29.99 over where in the Smith store in Northern Ireland where I got it. And for a small set, it actually comes with two instruction booklets, which I think were pretty unnecessary. As were the four bags, I think the set could have been done within three bags, maybe even two. But two booklets, two bags, four bags for a set of this size, I don't really think that was necessary. Um, and I'll just give you a look at the second instruction booklet. There is a little comic um, that is included in this year's set. I'm not sure if they'll be continuing this comic um, next year and beyond. There's a ton of the minifigures on this page, which is a really cool page actually. Um, and then there's a, the other summer set releases that are available at all retail stores. Um, oops, let's do that again. Well, there's the skiff. I may pick up that one at some point. Probably not for a while, at least. Um, the hmm. You know, aside from skiffs, I see turn to Joe Starfighter and the Lobot Platter. There's nothing else I definitely want to get. To be honest, I may pick up a couple of the other sets, but not really that exciting to me. I think the summer wave is. Not very exciting in general, in my opinion. The minifigures look good, but they set themselves, especially as far as the Old Republic goes. I really like the look of the minifigures, but the ships, uh, the ships which are the main focus, of course, of the set, just still appeal to me. Gungan Sub doesn't really either, except for the Queen Amidala minifigure. Um, and for, since this year was the release of the Phantom Mass and 3D, it's a surprise that that was the only regular release set or exclusive release set that is the Phantom Menace. I would thought there'd be several more at least. I might be get the malevolence, I don't know. Probably would only get for my birthday or Christmas though. And Jabba's Palace. Uh, assuming I don't win the competition I'm in with Smith's Toy Store to win that set. Assuming I don't win it there then I won't be getting it all to be honest. Um, so yeah, and I'll start with the minifigures, and the only minifigure in the set that isn't new, and that one is Dono, the Starfighter itself, Jedi Master Saisi Tin. Pretty cool minifigure, I did like it in the original release of the Jedi T6 shuttle, I still do. The horn piece is pretty cool. Um, the face print I like as well, looks fairly decent. And it does have body printing, well, torso printing and back printing. No leg printing though. But anyway, I'll actually just zoom it in now to give you a better look. Hopefully that's enough of a zoom in, so pretty cool minifigure. But not the main appealing minifigure this sound. I'll go on to the two new ones now. Second new one, another Jedi. It is Jedi Master Evan Peel. Um, this was what excited me most for this set when I got heard, read the original rumor list and I read that Jedi Master Evan Peel being the set. I was really excited because I was thinking how good this minifigure would be. And I must admit, Lego let me down a bit with this one. There are at least there is at least one issue I have with it, but I will admit I really like the torso printing. I think the torso printing is pretty cool. And actually, get with his lightsaber to give you a better look. 
really like the torso thinning that they did on this figure, minifigure. No leg thinning, but for legs that's more, it's understandable. He does also have back thinning, but the main problem I think is with the head, I mean. I don't know why, but the face thinning they gave it, which is my first problem, kind of makes him seem, like, very old. I know Evan Peel is meant to have, like, a slightly withered face, like he's scared from lots of battles. Um, like the scar he has on one of his eyes that you can see there. I, I understand that, but it, I, I think they went overboard with it, to be honest. It makes him look so much older than he really is, to be honest. I don't even know why it seems like that. Um, this piece here, um, I liked it when they made removable pieces for... Um, Kiadi Mundi and Death Mons of Aja Press, they, I felt they worked very well for those main figures. But with this one, I just feel it the removable piece does not work at all. I don't know. And the little smiley face on the back of his ponytail like thing, that just looks so silly. I understand. Lego is for kids, but seriously, I mean come on. Um but I do like the scares they detailed onto it, but I do still have one last floor. When you put it on, it actually pretty much covers almost half of Evan Peel's eye. You have to like position it very strategically, like there, to actually make sure it's not covering the eye. Because if you push it all the way down this piece, then it will cover the eye, or a part of the eye. And it just really looks silly. Um, I was really excited for this minifigure. I'm glad Lego did release an Evan Peel minifigure, don't get me wrong, but I just feel they could have done a much better job and uh, the best of minifigures um, and could have been done better. And it really does say a lot about the minifigures when your favourite and the best minifigure to set is an Astrak Droid. Don't get me wrong, I like the Astrak Droid figures. I think they have good detail, but it's just something small and, you know. R3D5, he did. He was in like the Jedi Starfighter of Sicy Tint Starfighter in Seda Rescue Share. He was unnamed in the episode. Um, but, you know. It's a pretty nice design. I'd say I only prefer Plo Koon's Astrak Droid, actually. The R7D4, I think that one is. But I really like the green. It actually is pretty cool. But, like I said, it does say a lot about me figure section when I, your Percy, doesn't care about Astrak Droid action figures and only has R2D2. But I do like the mini figures because they actually come in sets. I feel like they're worth your money. In a way, um, but I don't know. It's cool, alright, but still. I'd have much preferred if they threw in something else. Like, they could have used the Commando Droid um, design from the Battle Pack, Clone's Battle Pack earlier this year to make a Citadel, Citadel version of the Commando Droid, but. Um, and OC Sobek as well, or Tech, and those would have been really cool, but. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, here is the Starfighter, and it actually is the best part of this set, to be honest. Um, it's actually an all-new Starfighter. Um, well, obviously the pieces are different, but it, there's actually a new like kind of look to it. And that's because the cockpit, and this is the feature, main feature, actually is removable, so you can take it out like that and kind of make it seem... Like an escape pod, I guess, which is actually pretty damn cool. Uh, that's something very unique in these Starfighters at last. I mean, the others were literally all the same, but with different pieces and colours. And this one is just different. It's because of this. I mean, really cool. And the cockpit design is actually different as well. In fact, I'll just slot Sicy Tin into the cockpit to give you a look. So bear with me a moment. There we go. So, very cool. Very 
good idea by Lego as well. Pretty impressive. If I was working for Lego, I must admit, I probably wouldn't have thought of this idea. So kudos to whoever did come up with this idea. This is pretty cool. Um, here is a look at the rest of the Star Fighter. There are a few bits and pieces that uh, give me problems, like this leg here kind of is bothersome a bit, and this piece here sometimes can easily fall out so I don't bother moving that leg up. Um, and what would a Lego set be without its flick fire missiles, right? So you do get a couple. In fact, no, you get more than a couple. I'm fairly sure when I built this last night, I remember there being more than two. Oh, yeah. It's two, two go underneath and then two go on top. Yeah, I knew there was more than two. Yeah, but pretty cool overall. The Aspect Droid F3D5 does fit in really easily. There are a couple of pieces in there to hold them in place, if you can see that. Too sure you can actually. Um, but there you go. And just pop the cockpit back in. Babe, just go Hong Kong. <laughs> Um, the engines are pretty cool, and overall, the Starfighter, this is easily, for me, in my opinion, the best Starfighter yet. But it does say a lot about it, about the Wave, when the set you're most excited about from the Wave is a Jedi Starfighter, and this is like the fifth one from the Clone Wars theme, but it was still pretty cool. I mean, you get size, well, the, a new Jedi Starfighter with an all-new function, which is... Of course, the removable cockpit, pretty much. Um, the Aspect Droid is pretty cool. You also get Evan Peel, who Lego Cove done better on, but is still a unique minifigure. But overall, I'm very impressed with this. Um, very happy Lego decided to release it. Um, I remember back on my Lego Says for 2011 page, when that was a rain before 2012 one, I actually said after. The episode of the Rescue, I posted a content of this and Adi Gallia's stuff here from the episode. Um, and I asked how many people would want it. Not many people did, I think, but we got it anyway. <laughs> um, but fairly decent. I do think if you were to get an, a Jedi Starfighter, it should be this one. Um, it's the most recently available, it's the one you're most likely to find at stores, and it's got a function that, like I said, that other stuff I just don't have, and very impressed with it. But definitely cool. I will admit the minifigures could have been done better. The Asher Droid is perfect, not very exciting, but Evan Peel, like I said, he's just not the best, and... I kind of do wish they made Adi Gallias instead because, you know, we already got Saisi Tin and we're getting him again in the Summer Wave, or being an exclusive set, but I'm sure you get my meaning, but I should do it for this review. I won't be reviewing any LEGO stores at all for another while, and um, certainly not Summer 2012 or anything, but, you know, there will be more LEGO stores stuff soon, but even before then, there will be more action figures including this one he's next so stay tuned for armored to so your press with you and no this isn't his lightsaber that's actually from a different figure because the version i got of savage is actually the version without the lightsaber but anyway made a force be with you and happy hunting